Hey guys, Jason Kills 32 here. I'm coming with another board game review. Um, today we're going to be focused on Eldritch Horror, which was released. I think I think the game shop got it Wednesday, later Wednesday night, and they had them on Thanksgiving. I didn't get to pick my copy up until Friday, um, but I had a chance to go through this. Um, play a two-player version with my buddy um, you know right now um, I'm not going to be able to do a complete um, basically my overview of the game on how the game works I will do a component overview but it's going to be um, it's pretty straightforward but I want to make sure where I get a few plays under my my belt because this is going to be a lot longer of a video to do an overview on than it normally would just to kind of let you know how the game's played for you to get a good grasp on how this game's played but I will go over the different components inside and kind of what they do and things like that um but I wanted to talk about it um uh, a little bit because um I was very excited for this release. I've been waiting for this release all year long. Um, I heard about it. Mm. I probably started reading up about it before summertime, you know, was when I probably started reading up on this and the release of this game. And, and I had it pre-ordered and I, um, I think I took the pre-order off of the list because I didn't want to wait for the rest of the stuff to ship. So I just waited for it to hit my local game shop, and then, you know, made sure I picked up a copy of it. Um, I was, you know, this is probably one of my most anticipated games of this year was for for Eldritch Horror, and I'll talk talk about it. Um, why um, this is supposed to be a sister at least to Arkham Horror. Um, I think they're too far at the front to pick out, but I won't get them anyway. But they're, bear with me, there are many different versions of the Call of Cthulhu system in board games. Um, this being the sister version of Arkham Horror in this game right here. And of course I have the order sign. The only one I actually don't own is um, Mansions of Madness. Um, probably just because there has to have somebody to overlord the game. These are more cooperative. Um, it's a little easier, I think, to, to hit the board. Because um, I don't necessarily like overlording a game unless it can at least be four people. And a lot of times, you know, unless we have, you know, extra extra people around. Um, but the core gamers in my group, it's really four of us that are willing to tackle more things like this. And if anybody else is there, you know, it's we're probably gonna play something lighter. Just we'll, we'll put it that way. Then something, you know, we'll we'll, we'll break out Elder Sign. Um, because that's a game and we all can win that and then, you know, it's the most disappointing win ever compared to one of these. Because you lose much more of this than you do in that. Um, but no, um, you know, this, this being the sister game of Arkham, and, but I, I feel it's a, you know, they expanded a lot. But then they brought a lot in, a lot tighter with this game. It's more streamlined. It's um, it's been in development for a really long time. Um, they they kind of took you know the feeling that this had. Um, they didn't give you as many monsters. You know, you only you only have four to choose from instead of eight. You have twelve characters. I got that right. Instead of the sixteen there. Um, it's not quite as many options. Um, the world, you know, obviously instead of uh, the town of Arkham, you know, you're all over the world, but even the world, there's not as many spots as there was in that one town of Arkham. They changed movement. Um, they changed 
a lot of it's, you know it's a completely different game than this experience right here um, I enjoy this experience and I love this experience um, but uh, this is going to be a lot easier I think to hit the game table um, I have seen the reviews and I went over them um, and I looked at it it does not have a nice rating right now on board game key. Let me see if this updated at all. Okay, it's gone up. Because earlier I saw something ridiculous. Uh, it was like under six. Um, and I was just imagining that that would have to be people that wanted this. You know, because I believe there's a group of people out there that they wanted a more convoluted version of this, and they expected that out of this, and they didn't get that. They got a more simple, a little more streamlined, straightforward version of it. There's still, you know, plenty of decks to choose from. There's still, um, you know, tons of different skill checks and monsters and and everything, but it's it's a little little less heavy on the components than this one even though it still takes up a whole table you know you still got multiple decks to choose from multiple monsters the monster bag's not as big but it's um it's a little easier i think to um to understand the, the skill checks in this game i think that the, the the cards the stats on the card are a lot easier to understand um on this one they did bring in fresh characters unlike Elder Sign and Arkham you know they were based off of those set characters um, but they they brought in some new blood in this one um, I thought that was kind of nice um, even the box I don't know I feel like these guys have a little more of a fighting chance than these guys these guys just feel more like a drive-by these you know they're out there they're out there shooting it up and they're going for it I don't know but, I, you know, this is, you know, when we talk about, you know, I guess the Arkham franchise, um, you know, nothing's going to come to that, that feel that you get when you role play in Call of Cthulhu, you know, and you're running around 1920s England, you know, and, you know, nothing's going to quite come to that, but if you're with the right group of people, and I, I dare say this, but you know they they get into the characters and they role play. Um, it can, it can turn out to be a really fun evening, you know. So I th I think I think in the long run, Eldridge is is going to be probably a, a little easier to hit the table, so it'd probably get more place in Arkham over time. Um, you know, because when I first brought this out, everybody was scared of it. They're not scared of it anymore after all the other games that I brought out. But this one, that you know, they were, the first time they were like, "Well, let's," you know, they we I sat down and we tried to teach it to everybody. And, you know, they they got a few turns in and they were like, "Well, let's let's play something we know," because this was taking a while. Um, you know, then then brought it back weeks later after we played some um, some other games and you know they were they were able to take it on then but you know I think this if this was out at that point in time we wouldn't have, wouldn't have had nearly half the trouble as we did with Arkham um, I mean it's your basic components from uh, Fantasy Flight the dice, I think, the dice feel a little more like wargaming dice in this one. You know, it's, the board's really nice. Um, mine was a little torn, and I didn't like that. Um, and also, they don't give you a bag to carry uh, your board in on there. And I, you know, I, I own a lot of fancy flight games. In every single one of them except for you know living card games and stuff like that they have bags for the boards and 
there was there was none of this, and that just bothered me. Because you know it felt like you know like you were you were storing away comic books, which I have extra ones, and I will be using them for that. Yeah, I'll I'll take care of the issue myself. But it, it you know you feel like when you, you buy a brand new game and you're opening up, and you're pulling apart the ziplock bag. It's like you know when you get comics fresh, you know. Yeah, it, it, it felt like a treat. It's a little, little pet peeve, but if you if you're a company that big and you decide to to cut costs, and I understand cutting costs, you know, because the market's really hard right now. Um, they're competing with other things that they never thought they would compete with, like Kickstarter and things like that. Um, price is going up on making the games but cut something else give me my little bag you know i don't know once you set that standard i don't i don't, I don't think you can go back i think you should just eat the cost because this is why we buy your products this is the famous flight is because we know we're going to get a good product and i don't want to see that diminish over time that would really bother me. Um, but I'm getting off topic. We're going to go and do a, a view of the components. Um, I rated this, I think, an 8.5 on Board Game Geek. When I just checked it, there, it's just like a 7 point. When I checked it earlier today, I, I imagine a lot of people are starting to put their reviews in because it was just released. And now it has uh, the average rating is a 7.910. Let me see here. I swear my geek list said something different. But I think that when this really hits, the that's going to change over time. Because you know, I don't know if this will surpass Arkham Horror. Arkham has the name in it, so people will be drawn to that, I think, a little more. But I think this is the better version to start out with over to Arkham. Definitely. You know, because, you know, this, this is almost better because they get a whole world aspect of it. And then they probably would put a little more care and thought into, you know, actually, you know, because they see it on the map here and they fight encounters from the map there. And then you know go to that that world of it. Um, you know I think that would uh, be kind of nice. But yeah, no, it's not loading up. My internet sucks right now. The characters, I love the new characters. They all have their own nice quirks to them. The character she's alike. They give you, they did this different with this too. I mean, you had a rule book, and then you have an easy reference guide, which is the same size as the rule book, but it answers a lot of quick on the point questions, and it's pretty easy to go through. I think that's nice. Um, so, what I'll do, I'm doing that anyway. The art on the inside of the box. I'll go ahead and get this thing laid out, and then we'll um, we'll go over the different components and things, and then I'll come back and I'll wrap this up. But I really wanted to kind of put my thoughts out there on this game. Um, I really enjoyed it. Um, I think you should go buy it if you know some Christmas is up. Um, if I hadn't bought this already. This is something that I would have expected somebody to get me for Christmas. That's how great this game is and my passion for this series is well known to my friends and family. Um, you know, this this is something that I've waited for and we'll, we'll do a video towards the end of the year um, about the games that we were really excited for at the beginning and, and kind of um, were burned out on and let down on at the end and um, this won't be on the list this will be on the list of the good games this year um, I did pick up 
actually I'll save this for the, I'll save that for the end. So now I'll go ahead and I'll go over there and take the camera and work over components and then I'll wrap this up and get it edited because I worked really late. It's like four o'clock in the morning and I need to go to bed and spend some time with my family anymore. Plus it's Sunday. Board game night. It's a good day. Alright, components now. Alright guys. This is the game board for Arkham Horror. There's a cool different things about the game board. As you'll see here. I'll try to do this while I'm on the tripod. Sorry. Um if you look here, you can see the different types of movement. Let me get this in the focus. Um, you have your paths, you have your train, your uncharted land, and your ships. Basically, your ocean patterns. The way you travel is you see these different markers through there. Each player can take one step turn unless they have a train ticket or they have a ship ticket and then let's say here just like this so let's say you are right there in Arkham now you can use Arkham to go down you can basically you, for your turn you can go from there to there but if you have two tickets you can go from there to the, there and then go to there which you can't see if there's a monster to encounter or something you need to get there quick so basically you know you on your turns you can choose two of any two actions for your movement and on one of those you basically can give up a movement to store train tickets and um, ship tokens. This can actually be very helpful later on when you need to move around the board a lot quicker to shut down monsters and portals so at the beginning you can kind of you know take it a little easier and kind of store up some resources and things like that. Um, you have your reserve here. Let's go down here have your reserve board right here and on there those are items that you can buy and pick up and on every one you have your doom track up top it goes along with whatever co corresponding monster you have this one goes up to 20 even though I think the highest one's like 18 on this one we have a new feature on the board called the omen track sorry I'm trying to get it in on the omen track and I'll show you Flip this around on the omen track you'll notice there are three different symbols one's repeated twice this thing's revolving and anytime this revolves as a consequence action of a card um, you see on the portals they have a little marker and for wh wherever it lands on the omen track that many portals with that corresponding symbol adds that many encounters to your doom track so it can go a lot quicker in the, the movement and then you have your little your little clue tokens over here. Um, the one thing I will say about um, the mini games in this series is they don't give you sufficient baggies. They give you all these tokens and just expect you to throw it back in the box and let it go on and stuff. I don't do that. You know, basically, they took from Elder Sign and gave you bigger tokens for your sanity and your stamina. Um, the threes are now bigger. Oh, wait, wait, I'm not in the shot. The threes are now bigger than the ones. That's kind of cool. Let's see 
gear, you got your, your dice and plastic stands, and then the infamous monster bag. And then they have different special monsters. Here, where am I at? Right there. That you can you can fight as well that can be brought up with different encounters. And go ahead and pull on the investigator sheets. And I won't hit up all the cards. Just because, just to save some time. There's the different monsters. Like I said, there's only four in this set. I don't know if that's in the shot or worth it. And then you have your different players. There's the politician. The astronomer. Expedition leader, a sailor, a spy, a shaman, assess the redeemed cultist. She seems kind of interesting, might be kind of fun to play with. A psychic. I like the new art, you got the musician. him, the martial artist, actress, and a soldier. Now I will talk real quick about this card on here, as you can see on the bottom, with all the symbols. What the numbers represent at the bottom is how many dice you use for your skill check, and in like in Arkham Horror, you roll that many dice, and then any time that you get a five or a six, six, you succeed on the skill check. Um, you know, so obviously, like where it has four dice, then you can roll the max amount of dice. You have a greater chance of getting a five or a six. So, and also on the back of these cars, it is something really nice here, where when you do die. You start over a new character, but anybody can go to this one and basically visit him in the mental hospital or on their deathbed, whatever. See if they pass the skill check, and then what that would do is that would take a one off of the doom track, and then you also you always get all the stuff. Um, that's that's as best as I can do, as quick as possible, and not make this too long. Um, there's a lot more to go over in this game, but what I will do now is I'll go ahead and wrap this up, and then we um, will go back over this, and I'll give a complete overview, I promise, of this game to my very, very best. And thank you.